What's up guys? Today I want to talk about red tail catfish tank mates. I'm really excited because tonight I'm doing a live stream with another fish tuber and we're going to be hanging out. So if you like live streams, go on over to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. We're always doing streams and there's going to be a lot more coming. Tonight we're doing a debate on using lead in fish aquariums. I know it's kind of geeky, but it's a cool topic. Uh, they got into like an argument on one of his videos and we're going to deep dive and talk about it and kind of go back and forth and banter. So um, here's the deal, guys. Uh, everything in the house build is going awesome. As you guys know, I am building a fish store inside of an old house that I bought. It's over 100 years old. Um, I have an entertainment center here and I have uh, there's, there's essentially racks of fish tanks everywhere. I'm about to start building the back of this. And here's the office that we'll be live streaming in tonight. So this is, gonna, this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, but before we deep dive into talking about red tail catfish tank mates, uh, I wanna give a shout out to you guys because I love you guys. If you like fish, I like you. So let's go downstairs and take a gander at my indoor 400 gallon pond where my red tail catfish happens to be. All right, so here we are in the sketchy basement. This is eventually all gonna be fish tanks over here, but for now it is mainly just the pond. And this is a DIY 400 gallon, well, it's actually 500 gallons to the top, but I don't fill it to the top. Let's turn down these air pumps a little bit because it's gonna be hard to hear me over it. So, and by the way, you're probably wondering why do I have that many air pumps? It's because I'm seeding these for all the tanks I'm about to set up. So here we go, guys. This is my 400 gallon pond, and I have a red tail catfish in heart in here. He's absolutely my favorite fish right now in the house. I love him. You might be wondering how I heat this thing. I have two heaters. They are 800 watt heaters with built in uh, digital thermostats made by Hyger. I really, really love these heaters. I'll throw a link in the description box to this heater. It's like 80 bucks for 800 watts. It's absolutely ridiculous. And it comes with like this plastic encasing and I just kind of suspend them. Uh, anyways, guys, let's let's see if we can get the red tail out a little bit just to kind of showcase them. So you can kind of see him in this basket. This is like his favorite place to be. Come on, buddy. You can see him right there. He's about maybe 15 inches long. I should have grabbed some food. Yeah, there he is. Look at that beast. He's such a beast. I love him. Favorite fish in the in the house right now to date. Uh, they absolutely love this little cage thing and they fight over who gets to be in the inside of it because it doesn't have a lot of cover, but you know, red tails really prefer to hide a lot of the day and God dang, he's just magnificent. So guys, talking about tank mates for red tail catfish, maybe he is bigger than 14 inches. Maybe he's 16, I don't know. Okay, so tank mates for your red tail catfish. This is a pretty sketchy topic, if I'm being honest, because red tails, uh, you, if you're in all the fish Facebook groups or forums, you will see that these fish consume fish like, uh, they, they will completely blow your mind at what they will consume. So just a rule of thumb with a lot of predator fish like this, if it can fit in the fish's mouth, it will go in the fish's mouth. You know, like if, if some of these fish in here, like these cichlids over here were like not, if they weren't on their best skill set and they had a bad day and they were maybe just kind of like uh, brisking across the front of his mouth, he would for sure eat them. So, and, and a lot of people think that red tail catfish aren't fast, but I've seen them. It's not about them being fast. It's about the, the sheer power of them just inhaling the fish. Like it just, it, nothing can stop it. It's crazy. So uh, the rule of thumb, if it can fit in his mouth, it will go in its mouth. So, um, you know, obviously I'm keeping fish in here. Cichlids are usually pretty safe because they're kind of a sturdier fish that kind of can hold, the, hold down their own. Look, there's a cool little gar over here. That's pretty cool. He's a Florida gar. He's probably my next favorite fish here in the pond. And this is a uh, really simple build, guys. This is just a plywood pond. I really advise a lot of people that like this, uh, I've dreamt of building this for a hot second. I finally did it and it was totally worth it. My advice would be to spend a little bit extra on the pond liner because that is a huge, huge deal. Uh, I dealt with ponds over there leaking and just spend a couple extra bucks. You might be wondering, 
what this tank is over here. I'm thinking about doing like a DIY overhead sump with like tons of like invasive plants in there because honestly, I can't keep plants alive in here, but I want I want plants in the t I want plants in here because I'm getting sick of doing water changes and plants will save your butt as far as water changes. So, back to the topic. Sorry, it's been 4 minutes and we're not even we haven't even got to it. So, tank mates, you want big fish that can hold their own. And not, uh, you got to be careful with other slow moving catfish. Like if you were to keep them with a pleco, um, you know, like a common pleco, a red tail catfish would come up and just kind of murk that thing because it's just sitting there on the bottom. They are, they are crazy predators. I'm going to see if I can get them to come out again. I'm going to put this rock right here just because, uh, it's kind of cool to look at them. I'm hoping that it doesn't make too big of a mess. Sometimes when you lift up decorations like this, like there's just crazy crap hidden behind it. So here he is, guys. I just want to showcase him. He's like, what in the heck is going on? Where is my cave? I'm pissed off. And he looks smaller. Uh, I guess that really doesn't do justice. That's my hand. So he's maybe like, I don't know, 15, 18, somewhere in that vicinity. So um obviously big fish cichlids are good uh, you can see that texas cichlid right there he has no fear uh quick fish that can swim away uh but be warned you know that fish could fit in his mouth at any time and if the wrong timing occurs it's gonna happen because uh and it really depends on how well you feed them if you're constantly feeding them good and fattening them up chances are he's not gonna go for that striking kill you know what i mean it only makes sense yeah, the fish are kind of freaking out. Uh, someone dropped off this albino uh, iridescent shark. I'm not a fan of these things, but I can't find someone to take them. So if you're local to Minnesota and you want this guy, please come over immediately. It's just not, uh, it's not my style of fish keeping. They just have such poor vision and uh, I'm just, I'm not that into it. So you might be wondering about the driftwood here. Uh, what I'm doing here is I find cool pieces of driftwood, but as you know, a driftwood, it does, it floats. So what I do is I, I put it in the pond here, which works perfectly for setting up future tanks like this. And uh, by the time I set up the tank, I can just throw it in there and it's already all absorbed and it sinks. So it works out very well. So guys, um, common tank mates to keep with red tails, you know, a lot of predator Predator tanks a lot of times will try to like, you know, use the red tail as the bottom feeder and they'll have a mid swimmer, you know, like cichlids, uh, like Midas cichlids, and then maybe like a, a fish that goes near the surface, like an arowana, because then you have all aspects of the aquarium kind of covered. You have the mid swimmer, the cichlids, you have the bottom feeder, the red tail catfish, and the best catfish to keep with red tail catfish is other red tail catfish because... Um, honestly, uh, I've, I've, I've seen them murk just like all kinds of different catfish. So be careful, um, keep them with big fish because these guys get like 30 inches long. Absolutely love them. Let's get some close-ups before we call our quits on this video. Man, oh man, these fish are absolutely beautiful. I should have grabbed some shrimp. I'm an idiot. I've been feeding him shrimp and he absolutely adores it. God, the fish is just, the coloration just doesn't do it justice. The red tail, this guy is honestly easily my favorite fish like in the house right now. And I think, I mean, I have a bunch of fish already. Haven't even been in the new house yet a year. I built this, all the crazy stuff upstairs. So I'm grinding, just kind of like doing my thing, trying to set up this fish store. So, but hit up the comments and let me know. Do you think this acrylic tank would be kind of a cool, you know, because uh, I need some different filtration in here because I, I, I have been just doing like a drip system where I just drip water in there slowly and then I take it out later. And uh, I'm kind of looking for a cool sump setup. I'm thinking like I have this full of plants, I use a pump, pump it up, and then this pumps out into a basket of lava rock right here or something. So it has the different tiers of filtration. But yeah, guys, this is just a normal shop light, 400 gallon tank. Uh, I love these heaters though. This These heaters make this, this pond really cool, so. And then it just tells you what you set it at. And then uh, there it is, it's set. I have them both running together uh, and they run uh, together. What's the word, unisense? Maybe that's a fancy word I could use. 
All right, guys, um, let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about keeping with your red tail catfish as a tank mate. Um, also, let me know, uh, like, uh, red tail catfish are awesome. So just let me know in the comments what you think of them, uh, how, big of, how big of one you're going to buy, or maybe you already have one. Hit me up in the comment section, guys. I love hearing from you. All right, guys, woo -loo!